So as you guys probably heard in the video yesterday, um, my camera kind of blew up as far as the microphone goes. So just got done at Best Buy. It's already 3.30 in the afternoon, but some updates soon to happen. So I'm sure you guys could tell yesterday in the vlog, um, my camera did not like the rain. Go figure. That's why I always get protection plans. Um, so picked up yet another free of charge. And they actually had batteries in stock, so I got two more batteries as well. Um, so that's exciting, and the other exciting thing is I can actually almost talk loud enough that you guys might be able to hear me. For some reason I lost my voice in the middle of the night, woke up with a super sore throat, um, don't know why. So that's kind of unfortunate, I have really hope I'm not getting sick. I am the biggest baby in the world when it comes to getting sick, so fingers crossed that I'm not. Um, That is a new SCAR-17. Um, that one is another FDE. I have big plans for that one. So yesterday, all in all, was kind of a bummer. I Honestly, the only thing I could think of that would have made yesterday worse would be like if the Noveski didn't run. At that point, I would have just kind of called it quits for the day. Um, but bright side today, cheering myself up with retail therapy uh not really sold the mdr good riddance so anyways new scar 17s sitting behind me i might do an unboxing i don't know why i would have done one before i actually may do an unboxing on this one just because i've never done one on a fde variant before anyways guys i have to pee so bad i can barely think straight and i'm sure watching this video from an iPhone is probably not going to be the greatest quality. I will pick this back up when I get home. So, testing, testing. Do your work. I sincerely hope so. So, do I fault the camera because the microphone died? No. Should you shoot in the rain while recording? Probably not. That's why we get warranties. Save your receipts. Overall, for the price, I honestly have to say, the Sony RX106 has been a pretty good camera for, I think I paid $1,200 for it. So, grand scheme of things, it's pretty awesome. I'm sitting here watching Murder Mountain, or at least the first episode, and I think I'm going to stop there. But, um, I see all these stupid people going into the middle of nowhere do illegal shit and then they go missing it's like what did you expect to have happen to you you know you're going into the woods to trim drugs you're going into the woods with people that you don't know who are hiring illegals and then you disappear like I mean yeah it's sad but boo-hoo again it sounds insensitive but you know what thank you Hendrix going up on the window Should I just said window, didn't I? I meant my fridge. Um, fever is starting to set in. <laughs> Fuck is spot focus. Alright, so the haul for the day. MOE K. I'm going to try out the turn tactical base plates on the Glock 43 and see if they actually run. Um, if you've never tried their stuff, the Gunfighters Incorporated stuff, um, really good holsters. Um, so this is the only time you guys will see me get a discount on anything, is on Glocks. I pay $3.99 for any blue label Glock. Um, that's just my price. That's how much you pay for all of them. So you'll notice that this one's different than the one that I did a review on yesterday. Yep, I actually got one for myself. Whitney took the other one from me and she was like, I really like this. And uh, she's carrying it right now. I'm not working today because I apparently am sick. Not sure who would be worth anything to, but... Here. 
here it is. So if you guys want an actual proper unbox, I fucking hate it. I hate it when people do that. Say everything you need to say in one single message. It's not that hard. Don't text me nine times in a row. So for those of you who want to see an actual unboxing, I did an actual unboxing video. Um, go back and check it out. A lot of philosophy in that video as well. And I gotta do this every single time just because it's funny. It's like FN wants you to use these as stencils for Scar 17S Graffiti. What a waste of cardboard, man. Like, you know how many cardboard trees this probably killed? It's like at least 10 cardboard trees had to die for this damn thing. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna show you guys how I do this. I'm being super sloppy right now. You guys are seeing me put zero effort into this at all. You ready for this? Wait for it. And thumbnail. Yep. So this is what it's like unboxing new Scar 17S <clears throat> and Flat Dark Earth. Bum, 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 bum. Now the first thing I'm gonna do, you guys may not agree with, but I don't care. All right, so breaking down the scar. Forward pin, comes out, it's captive. Push forward on your receiver, lift that plastic bastard up and off, slide your buttstock off, and let me show you the right thing to do from the get-go with your scar. You ready for this? See this charging handle? Pull this out. And you put it on the right side. And yes, by right I mean correct, but also directionally right. Now why is that right? Is it because I say so? Partially. Yeah, sure. Um, but also... I will give you... See, my phone's still going. Who does that? Man, that's so annoying. Like whoever's texting me, I'm generally, I'm going to respond and be like, dude, don't fucking do this. Drives me insane. All right, so why do I put it on this side? Okay, you ready for this? So many of you guys who were like, oh, I'm a Marine, bro, and we have, we run the Mark 17, and, you know, we all fucking hate it because, you know, our thumbs get caught. Your thumb, what? Gets caught? And the reciprocating bolt? It's probably because you should change it to the other side. You should not have your charging handle on the left hand side. Do not run your charging handle on the left hand side. Do not run your charging handle on the left hand side. But, well, the battery of our, you know what? AK. M82. M107, 249, 240. I can go on and on and on and on and on. Name one weapon that you were trained with that charges from the left hand side. You got nothing. The fact that you guys are throwing your left hand up here to a reciprocating charging handle and causing stoppages because your dumbass isn't paying attention to what you're doing and slapping your thumb with your reciprocating charging handle and causing a stoppage makes me want to slap the shit out of you. FN, you ship it on the wrong side. As per usual, our actually relatively nice FN backup iron sights, our overly long flash hider, which will be turned into a muzzle brake here in a second so I can run my can on it. And our poop brown lower. And our poop brown Ugg boot. And I'm gonna change it out to the KDG. 
Um, and you guys are all going to tell me that I'm going to have bushing issues and all this other bullshit that hasn't ever happened once at all to me, ever. Take it from me. You can put the KDG stock on and nothing bad happens, I promise. Overall, love the 17. Obviously, this is number five for me. Um, I just wish that they would ship with the charging handle on the correct side. See more? This is my... Okay, so the Mark 17 is full auto, right? Things start getting hot, pretend you didn't have a foregrip. You go from here to here, like I did yesterday with a Noveski. Okay, what's my thumb gonna do? If it was on this side, what would my thumb do? It would stop the cycling of the action. Or you're trying to get in tight to something, two sneak shots on somebody. Like, why would they ship on the left-hand side? And who the hell is running their charging handle on this side? Knock it off. You're causing yourself your own problems and then complaining that the weapon's a piece of shit because you're too dumb to change your charging handle to the correct side. Again, 107, 249, 240, AK. I can go on and on and on and on and on. You name me one military weapon that's very commonly issued with a left-handed charging handle. Go. I didn't think so. Anyways, so I'm going to sit here and shoot at my TV in my fevered delirium. Um, both these weapons are empty. But um, something that I kind of wanted to share with you guys is the fact that uh, I do spend a couple of days just dicking around with and playing with new guns. Helps break them in, helps you get used to them, and overall just gets you more comfortable and acclimated. Anyways guys, I am coughing up loads and loads and loads of green shit, and uh... I probably shouldn't have got myself as soaking wet as I was yesterday out in the woods. That was my bad. Um, I was already kind of starting to feel sick, so. So this is basically what I have left in my voice, and as you can tell, it's starting to go out completely. Um, I thought it was just from yelling yesterday, but no. I am I am definitely, definitely up the creek. Um, so I'm going to see how all of this looks. My settings are as far as anti-shake and everything else goes. Anyways, I wish I could say today was a better day than yesterday. Um, got to hang out with some friends, which was awesome. Um, hope I didn't get them sick. I didn't think that I was sick when uh, we met with them. I thought I just had a sore throat from yelling. Um, I was wrong. Sorry, guys, if I got you sick. Uh, I really hope I didn't. Um, and obviously, getting a new scar. It is awesome. So from here it's time to get some rest. Um, I don't take cold meds, I don't take pills, I don't take anything. Uh, if it's not natural I don't put it in my body and no that's not a cute way of saying I smoke pot. I don't do that either. Um, even though it is legal here and if I did smoke pot I'd tell you guys but I don't. Um, gives me panic attacks. So um, yeah that's that. Before I go, I wanted to show you guys this. This is the cooked uh, KX3. I haven't cleaned this rifle yet, and I'm not going to until I'm done. But this, but this stuff right here, I was thinking was like goo from I don't know oil or something, because I get this kind of buildup occasionally on my rattler when I'm shooting suppressed. Um, and I was like, oh shit, no, the finish is all um, melted. I was like, wait, that doesn't make sense. There's no way Cerakote can melt. So, and then it hit me. I looked inside my case, and uh, there's a perfect Noveski-shaped barrel and handguard hole melted through the case of my rifle case that I didn't notice before. So, um, whoops. So, that's melted plastic and melted case on there. Let me show you guys, too, that... Uh, from the range, more. Let me show you guys too that from the woods. Yep, still haven't cleaned it, and I'm not going to. Not until we do the accuracy testing. Um, I might clean up the outside, but it's not like it's giving me carbon residue or anything. Um, my thumb's clean, so um, just adding that cool factor to the. Uh, the KX3, the whole, hey, I burnt the crap out of it first thing. <laughs>
Anyways, love you guys. Hope this video is uh, at least stable. I know it's not going to be good because I'm like half retarded and sick right now. It's my gun sliding. I'm not farting.